Hi everyone, today we have a different kind of video. It's a DIY making this Tabasco basket out of cereal boxes. I like it and it's cheap. I could say it just cost me like $1 the most. Hope you enjoy the process. Thank you. Okay, so here I started measuring one inch apart so I can start gluing those stripes and I think I use six stripes yep. and I'm gluing it to the edge of the basket because that colorful part is going to be the edge of the basket and in the colorful colorful par, part is going to be covered by the next one too so it doesn't really matter if it's if it's if it's colorful right now so then I measure two inches down from that border to start the weaving part. And then I'm making sure that I have enough cardboard from the edges too, or the sides. Because for the sides of the basket, I'm leaving like two and a half inches to three. I didn't exactly measure that one, but yeah. Then I'm just one inch apart for the next stripe. So that's how I will be doing the whole basket. Just an inch apart from the weaving part. And here we are almost done. Well, all the weaving part is done. Now I'm just gluing the next edge. And the same distance, two inches apart from that that last weaving stripe and then I'm trying here to give a form to the basket like curving it so the sides will go up and then I marked it with a pencil where the two inches reaches so I wouldn't go too far down or too far up And there I glue the next stripe to keep going. And then the fun begins where the basket is starting to get shaped. You will soon see. There for the corner I'm just curving it so the, that one side will lift up and start getting a basket shape. And there goes just gluing. I'm making sure I don't pass that pencil line. And there we are going with our basket almost done. I am going to be putting an extra from the inside because that's how the Tabasco baskets look. One stripe of wood from the inside and the next one from the outside. And the reason I say it, it just cost like a dollar is because of the glue and the paint that I used because the cardboard was free. <laughs> it's basically a recycle that we are doing here using cardboard. And that's what I did with all the corners, just carve them. Right here I used a stripe to mark my two inches. I should have done that in the beginning, but I don't know why I didn't. I guess we'll learn with the process. <laughs> And here I got confused and I was going it backwards then I remember it was the next way and <laughs> fixed it right away too. <laughs> and going with the same thing. Just gluing, gluing. 
and our basket is almost done carving that corner again And you can put uh, extra stripe from the back to just like it's overlapping there because that way the basket gets stronger that's how i noticed with this basket it was pretty flexible but once i i put more stripes and it got stronger and here i am just trimming that excess piece excess pieces that we have left and now the easiest part is about to come, just gluing the stripes down. And I want to mention the stripes are one inch wide or thick, however you want to call it. <laughs> I didn't record the process of cutting them because my husband did that for me. And he didn't record himself for doing that. <laughs> So this was basically ready for me. And I would be showing you a little bit of how I painted it, but not the whole process because I just had a tiny little brush and it took very long to paint. But now I found my big brush and my other projects are going to be faster. And there it is, our basket almost done. And I do want to mention that I glued uh, eggs on the basket, as you will see in the end. I guess you must have seen it in the beginning too, but yeah. I do forgot to record that part where I glued it. After I was done, I said, oh, I forgot to record that part. I did paint it white first, and then I did it did an next coat with wood stain, but I didn't get the color I wanted, so... Once all this virus is done, I'll get a brown paint that I really, really like. Thank you for watching and leave, a, leave us a like and comment what you think about this. And subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.